Okay, uh, PHP has another super global array other than the ones I've discussed so far, and that is the request array. This is another one of those automatically created arrays for you. And while if you click on links, you're usually making get requests, so you'll have the dollar sign underscore get array with all that data. Forms typically are sent with post, so you'll have all that data from there. Then there's the cookies super global array. The cookie super global array will have everything that's in the cookies. Request contains all of those. So how do we access this? Well, I've built a simple little page here. I've added one anchor tag that's going to reload this page. And I can add something in there. Let's uh, say get name equals get value. Very creative. There we go. Um, the form has a field called email. That's the name. This is going to be the name. And whatever I type inside of here is going to be the value. So if I submit the form, I'm going to get that. If I click on the link, I'm going to get just that. And cookie, this is going to have, uh, I'm setting this with JavaScript. So I can just reload this page. And if I try to access the request array right now, because I've reloaded the page, I've actually created this cookie. This script has run, the cookie's been created. So here's the name and here's the value of that cookie. So I just want to write out just to make sure that this is working. And we need quotation marks around these values, of course. There we go. Okay. And there it is. Ginger snap. So that's showing up. So we do have something called flavor. That was coming out of cookie. Now I'm going to do some um, testing to make sure that I'm getting these variables so I don't get error messages popping up all the time. And we're going to be checking for flavor. And as long as that exists, then we'll write that out. Okay, and we'll concatenate that together. There we go. Flavor is ginger snap. We'll put a space in here to make that easier to read. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to repeat this process with get name and email. Just to show you that all of these are actually being added into that request array. There we are. So I'll refresh the page. Flavor, that's the only one. Now if I click on the link, the anchor tag, I'm making a get request for this page. And whatever's in the query string, that's going to be sent along. There we go. So get name appeared here. And now we've got, well, I have to change this get name. And this is email. Forgot to do that the first time through. There we are. So flavors, ginger snap, get name is get value. All right. We have the get value being passed in. We've got the cookie being passed in. We don't have anything from the post yet. So let's try adding something in here. So email is bob at work.org. We click send and there we are. We get the cookie and this. Now we could get all three of them coming together if there was a, we'll say post get equals post get value. So now on my page, I'm just going to load this page. The cookie is the only one that's come through right now. When I click send, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be submitting this form and the action for the form is just like the href for an anchor tag. This is where I'm sending the request to. So this is the script that's going to run when I submit my form. The method is post, which means all this data inside the form is going to be sent by post. However, this will also be sent along. This query string is part of the headers. So the query string gets sent and that's what's get, getting loaded into the dollar sign underscore get super global array. So this and any additional values that I send in the query string are also going to be sent along with the post. So I'm getting get, post, and the cookie, all three of these. So let's try this again. Send. 
Okay, so we have request. We're using method post. That's going to include everything in the form. We have this added to the query string, which is coming through over here. So we want to write that out at the top here as well. Well, we can do that. If we access request, and then we ask for post get. So this is being added to the get. So let's do RRR for request. And we need our square brackets. There we are. So we have cookie coming through here, ginger snap. The email, that is our post value. And post get value is the value of what's coming out of the query string. So here we have an example where we submitted a form and we're getting all three values. We're getting something through post, something through get, and something through cookie. All three things, all of them existing inside of request. And that's what this is. It's an opportunity to let you combine all of those things. And if you look at the documentation, the official php.net uh, documentation for request, you'll find out that there is a request order directive that's in the PHP INI file where you can change the order. So G, P, and C, what order you want these to be read. All right, well, I hope that helps. I'm going to leave a copy of this code in the code gist for you. If you have any questions, please post them below. And as always, thanks for watching.